How's everybody doing today? Well, you have probably heard references made on this channel to the Vlogging Through History drinking game. And it's always been kind of this joke that many of us have shared in the comments and I've made repeated references to it in various videos over time. And I've had some requests asking if we couldn't make it official. So tonight, I'm gonna introduce you to the official rules for the Vlogging Through History drinking game. I've got my $10 bottle of Trailview Whiskey Company Apple Whiskey, which is uh, 42 proof and it's fantastic. It's not my favorite kind, but it's what I could pick up at the local grocery store. And I think I've had this for about three weeks, so you see how often I actually drink. Um, and I wanna say up front, listen, this is all meant to be lighthearted, but I also recognize that the use and especially the abuse of alcohol is a very serious thing. My great-grandfather was almost exactly my age when my, my paternal great-grandfather, when he took his own life because of his alcoholism. So I, I understand it's a serious thing. And please, if you are prone to abusing alcohol, don't follow anything that I'm about to say. This is all meant to be fun. It's meant to be lighthearted. It's just really kind of a way to poke fun at some of the things that I do on a regular basis. So uh, in order to do this though, uh, I actually went to another source. This actually is something that somebody shared with me on Instagram. They actually made a vlogging through history bingo card. And I don't know, yeah, I guess you can probably see that there. Uh, and these are all things that I regularly do on the channel. And so before we get to the official rules of the vlogging through history drinking game, and by drinking game, what we mean is that you have to take a drink every time I do one of these things. First, I'm going to just read to you some of the fun ones that, I, that were on this bingo card that won't be a part of the official drinking game, but nonetheless are things that I probably do way too often. Uh, one of them is uh, pausing the video to research something. That's something I do a lot where I'm like, man, I need to look that up and, and find out more about that. So yeah, I definitely do that. Um, showing love for the game of football, or as we call here in the States, uh, soccer. Uh, so that's something. Um, complimenting Mr. Beat's physique. Listen, Matt is jacked, and I'm a little jealous of that, okay? so. I'm not afraid to say. I wish I had the guns that that man's carrying around. Um, okay, um, saying and, and then adding like 10 more facts. Okay, I probably do that. Uh, doing an extra history reaction series, that's fair. Definitely something I do a lot. Um, disappointed dad face. You know what, we might put that one in the official game. I think we're gonna put that one in the official game. Post a reply to a stupid comment. Yeah, I do that, and, and more often than not, I actually post those on Instagram with my reply, which is more often than not, sir, this is a Wendy's. That's my favorite comment to leave to stupid people. Um, all right, uh, let's see, here we go. Sharing the Theodore Roosevelt boat thieves story. Yes, I do that a lot. I have certain stories that I share repeatedly, I know. Definitely one that a lot of people mentioned, but we can't really make it a part of the drinking game. Uh, would have to be anytime I wear my own merch. Anytime I'm doing Battlefield site videos, I'm always wearing a Vlogging Through History hat. A lot of times you'll see me wearing them in uh, videos where I'll be wearing one of my shirts, either from my gaming channel or from this channel. Yes, I definitely do that. Um, saying as a conservative Christian, yes, I do that a lot. I, I Listen, I'm very honest about my biases because I want people to understand that, that I acknowledge what my biases are and I, I'm trying to encourage other people to acknowledge their own biases too. Talks proudly about his kids. Yes, I'm very proud of my children and I will continue to do that regularly. I am a dad uh, and that's a way more important job that I have than anything I do on YouTube with history. Uh, oh, I did a video there. Yes, that's one I do a lot too. Mentioning Rachel's Challenge, which I've been a speaker for for the last nine years. Definitely do that. And then there's a joke here, of course, about Indian history. If you haven't seen that, look at my video where I look up what other people say about me on the internet. Um, I'll try to throw a link up at the end of the video for this on that one. Uh, thought we'd do something a little bit different today. That's one I say a lot too. Okay, but we need to get to the actual drinking game itself. So what that means is that every time that I say one of the following things, if you're playing along at home, you've got to take a drink. Now it could be a shot, 
Some, some videos, depending on the topic, you might want to stick to something low alcohol like beer or something. Um, but uh, for me, it's my Trailview whiskey. If they want to sponsor me, I'd be okay with that. Uh, it's really good for 10 bucks for a bottle. Uh, okay, so here we go. Number one, anytime I mention anything about Ohio, whether it's I'm from Northeast Ohio or something about some famous person who's from Ohio, in any way, shape, or form connecting the topic that I'm discussing back to my home state of Ohio. You have to take a drink whenever that happens. Mm. I tell you what, for a $10 whiskey, it's really smooth. It's impressive, really, because I like it smooth. I don't like it with a burn, it's just too much. Anyway, number two. Anytime I mention something about my family history, my ancestors, some ancestor who was involved in something, or my wife's ancestors, or something to do with my family tree, past or far back, really far in the past. Take a drink anytime that happens. Anytime I mention how much I hate Woodrow Wilson, you have to take a drink. All right, the next thing that is a part of the drinking game is any time that I say something right before the original content says it in a reaction video. This happens a lot because I don't watch the videos ahead of time. So sometimes I'm anticipating that he's moving, the, that the person is moving on from a topic. And so I'll cover something that then they immediately say afterwards or within a minute or two, they say it afterwards. Anytime that happens, take a drink. All right, and as I mentioned earlier, anytime I make the disappointed dad face, you have to take a drink. And if you're not sure what it looks like, it'll be me looking directly at the camera and probably doing something like this. All right, you'll know it when you see it. It's hard to do when I'm not actually disappointed dad by something, right? So anytime you see me make a clear disappointed dad face, either in something that's said, or a great way to know is if something comes up about Woodrow Wilson, you'll probably see me make that face. Take a drink. And the last one, but certainly not least, is any time a topic is being discussed that has nothing to do with the American Civil War, but I somehow draw some parallel or make some connection to the American Civil War, because that's my area of greatest expertise, and so, it's usually where my brain's at when I'm thinking about history is something to do with the Civil War anyway. So if I connect something not related to the American Civil War to the American Civil War, take a drink. Okay, so those are the official rules of the Vlogging Through History drinking game. If there's anything you think I missed that I should have added to it, or just something that you think is a funny observation about my eccentricities, my mannerisms, my habits, my way of doing things, let me know in the comment section below and be safe playing the drinking game.